Hey there everyone, welcome back to our channel, Living the Bex Life. It's that time of year when the pumpkin spice is flowing, the weather is cooling down, and school is back in session. Today, we're going to show you one of our favorite go-to chili recipes, do some things around the house, visit the fair, and share some of our homeschool curriculum with you. So grab a cozy blanket, a cup of hot cocoa, and join us for a day filled with autumn activities. As summer fades away, nature begins to paint a masterpiece of vibrant colors, crisp air, and a sense of transformation in the world around us. As many toddler parents know, the start to many good days begins with a big cup of coffee. Today I use my single cup Keurig, but I'll often use the Nespresso machine as well. I usually alternate between the two just depending on the day. Melody and the kids made this pumpkin chocolate chip bread throughout the week and Tim had it for breakfast this morning. After that we played some Monopoly Junior. It's a fun game that also gets them to learn a little bit about money. Finally the weather is cooled down enough to enjoy some of the mornings out front. This is a car Tim got for Christmas two Christmases ago, and he still loves it. The chili cooks in the crock pot, so I start it early in the morning. Here's a view of the ingredients I use. I start by finely mincing a half an onion, but you can increase this or decrease this to your liking. Here I'm using a red onion, but you can really use any kind of onion you want. I add that to the saute pan. Go ahead and get that on medium high to get that sauteing. Next I add in two pounds of ground beef. I'm using ground beef in this recipe today, but this would also be great with ground turkey or ground lamb or ground bison. So it's finally fall around here. It's finally starting to feel like fall around here. Wichita Falls has been really hot this summer. Almost every day was over 100 for months on end. So it's finally, for us, cooling down, which means in the high 70s, low 80s. And uh, I know for a lot of people that's their normal summer, but for us, it feels cold. So uh, it's great to get this chili cooking. I really love cooking, and this is a great recipe for fall. It's great to have cooking all day, it makes the house smell really good. Each time I make this recipe, I think it's just a little bit different. That's why I don't even put the exact amount of each spice and, and each ingredient that I'm using because sometimes I'll use a half an onion, sometimes I'll use a whole onion, sometimes I use a little garlic. We're out of garlic right now, so I'm not gonna use it today, but garlic would be great with this recipe as well. Go ahead and share if you have any fall recipes that you really like, you and your family. Go ahead and put those down in the comments. Once you got your meat cooking, this is when I go ahead and add some initial spices. Here I'm starting with some granulated garlic. I add some cumin, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some chili powder. And the secret ingredient here is a touch of cinnamon. You can check out the description for a full detail of the recipe, as well as several different links to things in our kitchen and other items around the house. After you've got the meat cooked, go ahead and transfer that over to your crock pot basin. I then add diced tomatoes. These are the fire roasted type. Then a can of tomato paste. After the tomato paste goes in, I use the can to add one of those small cans of water to it. And then I put in a few beef bouillon cubes that'll dissolve as it cooks. I throw in one bay leaf and then turn it up to high for about an hour and then turn it down to low and let it simmer for the rest of the day anywhere from six to eight or nine hours. It doesn't really matter too much. Melody and the kids picked out these fall decorations last year and we just put them back up this year again to get the house decorated for fall. After I got the chili cooking, we went ahead and set up for a homeschool lesson. So 
tell us about the curriculum we're using and why we've chosen that one. Um, right now we're using the good and the beautiful curriculum. It's really easy to just like open to a lesson each day and like get it done pretty quickly. It usually takes like 10 to 15 minutes, which is pretty reasonable for a four, almost five year old. Um, I think if it was any longer, it would be way too much or like if there was a lot of things you had to prepare for the lesson, I think it would be too much too. So I think the good and beautiful is a good curriculum for us right now. We're also doing Bible lessons out of a children's Bible book that we got from a neighbor down the street. We're doing that a few times per week where we read a Bible story and then talk about the lessons learned in the story. And that's a good way we sometimes start out the day of study. Well, we tried to take a little nap before we go to the Texas, Oklahoma fair this afternoon, but we read some books and laid down and one kid fell asleep, but the other one did not. So we ended up just kind of being awake and having some yeah, and tomorrow quiet we're time. Taking a nap. Quiet time. Right. Before going to the fair. But I know I was dozing off, but I couldn't um, actually get a nap in. Does that ever happen to you with your kids where you're ready for yeah. a nap? But they're not. If it does, tell us about it in the comments. Or just for the afternoon, we spent some time at the Texas Oklahoma Fair. This is in downtown Wichita Falls at the MPEC Center, a multi purpose event center downtown. They have the outdoor portion set up, you can see here, with a bunch of different rides for kids. They had a merry go round and some rides for smaller kids around Tim and Sophia's age, and then there were some bigger rides for adults and older kids as well. This was an event we honestly didn't even know was going on until the night before we went. Uh, there's a lot of different things that go on in the MPEC that sometimes go unnoticed. If you're new to Wichita Falls or you live here, it's a place to keep an eye on for different events that you wouldn't necessarily think of. Can't go to the fair without having a smoked turkey leg. We ended up getting a smoked turkey leg and funnel cake to all share the kids that loved it. We're back from the state fair and Sophia fell asleep within about two minutes of getting in the car. So she is inside asleep on the couch. Tim is hitting some golf balls and Mel is out on a little walk. So we're gonna just relax around here this afternoon. After your chili's been cooking for several hours, there are a few different ways you can go ahead and eat it. One way we like to do it is over spaghetti noodles like this that we got at Sam's Club. You can also just eat it, you know, plain without anything else. The other way I like to do it is add green chili from New Mexico into the chili itself. The kids are not necessarily big fans of the spicy green chilies, so I keep those separate and Mel and I add those in on our own. These are some green chilies we got from my parents. Every fall they get them in New Mexico, they get them roasted and then freeze them and when they come visit us they'll bring us some bags of green chili. I go ahead and chop them up after getting the skin off of them and add them directly in to the chili. It really warms it up, makes it, uh, gives it a little bit of a kick that I love in my chili. Thanks for joining us for a fall day here in Wichita Falls. We hope you enjoyed our video. Go ahead and leave us some comments below. Share what uh, some of the fall things you like to do this time of year are wherever you're living. And give us a <laughs> like, uh, comment, or subscribe.